for him, but that hasn't happened yet. Dave hasn't called. He said he was actually going to show up in Vegas, Dave, when we were there. My God, that would have been quite a time. He says, I've got no beef with any of the guys about any of that stuff. At this point in my career in life, it's like, hey, I'll play it all. I'm sure if it came up and if it was the right situation, I'd let it happen. In terms of his riff with Eddie, Jeremy asked him, how does he like, you know, deal with it? Because Sammy walks around boasting, oh, we patched everything up and this poor guy hasn't gotten a call. He says, we actually hadn't spoken for many years and unfortunately we didn't get a chance to. And it kind of bothers me because we had some issues that were never resolved. But I mean, what can you do? We were on track for a reunion, which I'm really sad that never happened. But, you know, life and the show moves on. And we want to say incredible condolences to Mike, who lost his father, Walter Subaluski, right? Is that how you say his last name? Subaluski, Dave? Uh, I think it's Sobolewski. So, well, it's spelled L-E-W-S-K-I. Sobolewski, or whatever, Sobolewski. He passed away on September 22nd at the age of 97. Wow, he really chucked up the numbers there. And our sincerest condolences to Mike. I know he was close with his father, and Mike's a big family guy. So very sorry for he lost there, Mike. But my God, 97 years, that's incredible. To have your dad into your 60s like that, that's incredible. So I'm sure he lived a long, fruitful life. Now, I Another thing, Dave, remember our friend Mitch on our last episode, Mitch Malloy's Van Halen Experience. What is that all about? Well, on Saturday, October 9th, at the Maddie Kelly Arts Village in Destin, Florida, Mitch performed with Pete motherfucking Thorn on guitar, and he also <laughs> had Daniel Sprewell on bass and Wayne Killius on drums. And wow, these guys did a whole big show, and if you want to hear a clip, here you go.
Now, they did a wild set list, Dave, so it was all Dave era. So right. six songs from Van Halen 1, four from Van Halen 2, one from Women and Children First, two from Fair Warning, four from 1984, nothing from Diver Down. They didn't do anything from the Sammy Hagar era. They did not do It's the Right Time and no Van Halen covers. So it was a nice balance of hits and album tracks. It went from Unchained to Hot for Teacher, Somebody Get Me a Doctor, Fill Your Love Tonight, DOA, Drop Dead Legs, Everybody Wants Some, Ain't Talk About Love, I'm the One, Mean Street, Eruption, Running with the Devil, Beautiful Girls, Light Up the Sky, Atomic Punk, Panama, and Jump. So what do you make of this, Dave? What did you think of that set list? Very nice set list. And I, I heard some clips, and they sounded good. They sound, you know, Pete's a really good guitarist. I guess it gave us kind of a clue as to what it would sound if, if Mitch joined the band. I think also some of the money went to charity that they were raising. I think it went, I think it went to one of the local schools, right? if I remember correctly. So it was very nice that Mitch was doing that and just, you know, tipped his hat to a brief part of his life. Well, another Van Halen clip got out. Dave, the song Fools from the Piper Club in Rome, Italy. And from 1980, you see David Lee Roth with his monstrous mane of bright bleach blonde hair with bangs, Dave, wearing a yellow and black striped pant outfit with suspenders. And Eddie in his royal jumpsuit. What did you make of this clip? Another clip from the vaults that we finally get to see. It was a lip sync, but it seems like every time they go to Europe, there's a lot of lip syncing going on. But it was very cool to see. And apparently that was from the show where David Lee Roth broke his nose. It wasn't in that clip, but apparently later, Later, during the show, he jumped up, you know, did, jumped off the drum riser and hit something. I think the story goes, was it a chandelier or something like that? Oh, no, no, no. It was a disco, a disco ball. It was ball. a disco yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah. And what happened was, is they had lowered the disco ball, but no one told Dave. So when he jumped off the drum riser, he hit the ball and broke his nose. So that show is legendary for what happened. I don't know if they're going to release footage of Dave breaking his nose. Yeah, yeah. But it's still cool that this kind of stuff is is coming out of the woodwork. This is the kind of stuff that is really going to be the vault stuff that we're going to get is what people start scrapping together, which is interesting. Also that came out, Dave, was a enhanced audio of an old Van Halen demo called Bad Women. Here's a clip. <laughs> This has got a cool groove with a nice thick bass line, but there's no real structure to the lyrics or the melody here. There's no real hook. I could see them reworking this one with new lyrics and a melody because it's got some good bones to it, but what did you make of this song? Yeah, it's all right. It's not one of my favorite unreleased Van Halen songs. It's all right, but it's not, not one I go back to too often. That's true. Now, Van Halen, believe it or not, updated its website recently to note about Eddie's passing. So it said here, when we experience beauty, we know it as truth. Ed, we love you. Dot, dot, dot. Miss you. And they had a video for Respect the Wind, which I think is fan-made, which just sort of has, like, you know, weather scenes and stuff like that. There's also an official Van Halen store on there, which appears to be different from Jeff's store. You know, there's only, like, a handful of shirts and a hoodie and a couple of things there, a different kind of truth on CD. I don't know what that's all about. What do you make of that? I didn't even know this. their their site was still up, to be honest. Yeah, I know. It's van-halen.com. Now, also wanted to give you guys an update about Niels Lozauer, rock star photographer. He's got his third Van Halen book coming out. It's simply called Ed by Zlows. He's the best. He's such a nice guy. On the cover, it's sort of an interesting choice for a cover. It's a 70s photo from 1979. You've seen it, Dave, and everybody who listens to this podcast probably has. It's a shot of Ed wearing a yellow t-shirt, a green striped jacket with hot red leather pants, and a Van Halen chain. It's rare because he's got no guitar. 
I mean, how often do you see Ed with no guitar, especially in photos? Mm -hmm. Now, you better hold on to your hat, Dave, because there's going to be 384 pages to this book, all shots that have never been published. But Mr. Zlows, he's going to be grabbing a little more than Sammy Hagar out of your wallet. $150 (laughs) for this book, Dave. Wow, $150, damn. That's right. That's right. I don't think you've paid $150 for anything. You might be right. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But you, man, and you said this is his third Van Halen book? Yeah. Wow, man. And his first two were chock full of pictures, too. Yes, chock I full. Mean, and But let's be honest. I don't think there's a photographer out there that's photographed them more than him. He's got the goods on them, for sure. So he's been shooting them since the early days and straight through 84 and stuff like that. And really, he's got great stuff. So I can't wait to see that. Now, John 5, okay, Dave, he went on Talking Shred podcast. He kind of opened up about Eddie Van Halen. He's saying he was his favorite. He was something special, touched by God. He was a real genius, and I was happy and lucky enough to know him. He was the Mozart of our time. He says about a tribute show, he says, if there is a show, which there has to be, if I'm not on that stage, I'll be in the front row, and I think it's something that definitely needs to happen with everybody. I think everybody should be there. I think Dave should be there there sammy should be there mike should be there wolfie should be there alex everybody that was part of van halen history all the fans from all over the world and give praise and appreciation to the master of edward it just needs to happen i think it would be a wonderful thing so that was very interesting he also went on another podcast called the mistress carrie podcast and he says that he shared a guitar tech with ed he says when eddie would play he would press down so hard and hit so hard that his guitar tech would have to tune his guitar all the time because Eddie would always whack it out of tune. He says, but with him, the way John 5 plays, he plays so light that his guitar tech has to like tell him, I think it's time to retune or change your strings. But he says, the funny thing about Ed's guitar stuff that he puts out, he says, it's all high, high quality stuff. The amps, the pedals, and everything. But he says, let me tell you something. If you play it, you're still going to sound like you. He says, all the products are incredible, and that's why they're selling, because they're they're great amps and pedals, but you're not going to sound like Eddie because it's in the DNA and it's all how you play. So that wraps up Van Halen News. And that's the way it is. Good night. And we are on to our incredible interview, Dave, with Michael Christopher, the author of Van Halen, The Eruption and the Aftershock, which is a new book that's just coming out. Another Van Halen book. This one encompasses the entire Van Halen history. So everybody's in there from Dave to Sammy to Gary. Everybody's in there. It's all the entire beginning to end of Van Halen. So we do a very deep dive interview with Michael. Very, very nice guy. Very chatty. Very comfortable. He was a lot of fun. We talked about all kinds of crazy Van Halen minutia. We get into all kinds of nutty stuff. But before that happens, we know we can't let Dave go into the dark, deep night without some mailbag dropping on his head. So that's coming up next. Take a listen. We don't actually, like go out and party because none of us really ever go to clubs and hang out that often but we spend a lot of time together it's like you know if i see edward down the beach i go down there or if he sees me down there he comes out hey you know i'm coming down you know and alex i have another house alan's like two minutes away so we see each other every day the only one mike the only one we never see is him. he lives out in boonesville <laughs> if you need a dose of vh get a taste of the closest thing romeo delight the ultimate Van Halen tribute band, playing all the hits from the David Lee Roth era, first classic six albums, plus deep cuts, some of which have never been played live before by the band. They even throw in popular tracks from the Sammy Hagar era and solo hits. The most viewed Van Halen tribute band on YouTube, Romeo Delight, doing customized recreations of staging instruments and costumes from the classic Van Halen era. They even perform entire Van Halen albums in sequence. Romeo Delight plays theaters, casinos, summer indoor and outdoor festivals, and special events. They're also available for private parties. To contact them, call Bud Blanche at 215 704 